I don't think people are like, well, there's no money left for Shane Pinto. I understand what it looks like now, but there's no way they went into signing Tarasenko and didn't think of signing Shane Pinto. What I think is going to happen, and you guys will understand, he's an RFA, which means he's not going to likely get signed right now because there's no pressure point. Yeah. We're, we're well, going to see start a camp, I don't know. start who's, of season. Who's centering your third line? There's a well, pressure point. <laughs> it's going to be Shane Pinto, but the pressure is going to be on the organization, right? You're not going to yeah. have – Shane Pinto sitting at home, like just like Brady Kachuk was, and then he missed a couple games at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Right? We're going to get to that because they're going yeah, to try sure. and get Shane yeah. Pinto low. And if I'm Shane Pinto, what do I want? $5 million, which isn't likely to happen, but you're going to ask for it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm also I'm also a little concerned just back, like, to me, the identity of the Ottawa Senators is – a like, I look at Brady Kachuk. They're a team that's really hard to play against. You, you talk about – the last couple of years, even though they were losing a few games, winning a few games, the narrative was they're a really hard team to play against. They get on the forecheck, they finish hits. I'm a little concerned with line after line. Like the way you play that way is you have the players in your lineup. So now to me, they're a different team. You've got Kubalik, who's a shooter. You got Tarasenko, who's a shooter. You got Drew, who's a change of pace player. Um, so I, I'm, I, I, like I said, I'm in a wait and see mode because I really want to see what the identity of this team is when when the puck drops in uh, in October. 